Great to see you all again. By the time you see this video, it'll be Halloween, so happy Halloween! Hope y'all are being safe out there. I don't celebrate it. However, when I was a child, man, I was a Halloween stan. I made my own decorations. The ones I couldn't make, my parents would buy them and help me decorate. And they were really very, very supportive about letting me express myself creatively and basically turn our entire living quarters into my idea of a haunted house. And it got pretty intense sometimes. I would even take my Barbies and make them look dead, and then hang them from the ceilings as if they're being, as if they killed themselves or something. It was really, really dark. You know, I mean, you wouldn't really think that a kid who's like between the ages of five and ten would come up with such twisted thoughts. Or maybe they do. Maybe kids are darker than we realize. I don't know. But that's really neither here nor there. This week I chose to create a little couple's photo of Frankenstein's monster and the Bride of Frankenstein with Boris Karloff and Elsa Lanchester. I grew up on these classic horror films. Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, Dracula with Bela Lugosi. The Abbott and Costello films, I loved those films. They were hilarious. We used to watch those all the time. The Wolfman, all those. These were the films our parents would sit me and my little brother down. We'd all sit down as a family and we'd watch these on Halloween. And so that's, that's kind of a little background as to why this holds a special place in my heart, not to get too savvy. I mostly freehanded the monster because they're aren't any selfie angle photos of him available. So the resources I did have, I think it came out okay. The bride was a total breeze. It, it took me like no time to fit her into this image. It was super, super easy because there are plenty of straightforward shots of her. As you all can see, I used a typical ballpoint pen that I stole from a lobby to line over the sketch and to fill in, I used Copics and Prismacolors and Sharpies to create the finished product. Let me tell you, these markers were the stars of Inktober for me. They were the Alfred to my Batman. I didn't end up creating as many Inktober drawings as I'd anticipated, mainly because sometimes I just didn't feel like it. There was one week where I created that guy in the leopard print turban. He's probably my favorite out of this entire Inktober collection, if you will. I just, I really love how that one came out. Anyways, it was so frustrating editing and doing the voiceover and just really getting that video together and uploaded it was just it really became kind of a cluster and so by the time I finally got it uploaded I was spent for that week and I just really wasn't all that interested in drawing anything and that's too bad because I had quite a few ideas or references on cue for this particular month but you know whatever it's not that big of a deal I'll get to them when I get to them also Respect these nails. Get into my nails. Don't act like you don't see the seriousness, the fierceness that is my nails. I'm serving you Samantha Robindahl, nail her, press on luxury realness. I love these things. I miss my acrylics so much, but they're so damaging to your nails. And plus I'm in school and the type of thing I'm going to school for is just not, nails are not happening. So whenever I can rock the press ons, I do it. Okay, that's all for this week. You enjoyed this drawing. It came out cute. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and follow me on the rest of the interwebs. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.
Whoa.